Yo, what's good? I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be talking about the biggest winners of the 2023 NBA Draft, my Houston Rockets. So coming to this draft, we were expecting to draft Amen Thompson, which we did, but there were some reports of him maybe going to Portland because they really liked him over uh, Brandon Miller if the Hornets took Scoop, but no. The Hornets stuck to their Brandon Miller pick. There's a lot of stuff going around social media. It looks like they did not like their pick, but Portland got Scoop which means we got our guy in Amen Thompson. And there were reports that we were deciding between Amen Thompson and Cam Whitmore. And Cam Whitmore somehow fell to us at pick 20. We didn't, have to, we didn't even have to trade up. We got Cam Whitmore at pick 20. Now, I still don't really understand. I haven't seen any reports of how we still got Cam Whitmore at pick 20 and how 19 teams, I mean, 18 passed up on him. Raphael Stone, our GM, probably had to suck off every single other GM for this because there's no other way. So I'll start off talking about a man Thompson. So man Thompson, 6'6 point guard. He's been really popular because, you know, he, he's a twin with his brother. They were um, always on overtime. And, you know, a lot of these new players, especially now, you all know them from TikTok, you know, social media, their highlight reels. But it seems like he's legit, you know. He has some comparisons with John Morant, real explosive point guard, Derrick Rose. So I'm really excited to see his future in Houston. Now onto Cam Whitmore. Again, there were reports and we wanted to take Cam Whitmore at pick four and we somehow got him at 20. I still don't understand. But he is a very good wing. Um, can shoot the ball, play defense. He has some comparisons up to Miles Bridges. You know, we like him over here. Calvin Johnson. I think he has a lot of upside. You know, Houston does have a lot of young players, so we're going to have to figure that out though. So yeah, not even me. Everyone's saying A plus Rockets by far won this draft. So Houston is going to have to figure out what they're going to do with all this young talent and Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Josh Christopher, Usman Garuba, As Amen Thompson, Cam Whitmore, Tari Eason, Jabari Smith, Shen Goon, I can go on and on, Kenny Martin Jr., Jay Sean Tate. We have so many young pieces. Again, I've been saying this, I feel like we should package some, some of those young players and maybe a few picks to a player who can help us win now. Not too old, but you know, somewhere like someone like Jalen Brown, OG Ananobi, someone who can you know, help us win now. And not even that, just someone that can speed up this rebuild. We've been taking for three years now. We won probably 55, 60 games in the span of three years, which is crazy. And we finally, you know, we're building a nice roster, but we have so many nice pieces, but I don't know where everything's going to play in because we have so much young talent. You guys know Kevin Porter Jr., starting point guard of the Houston Rockets. He's one of my favorite players in the NBA. I was so excited when he came to the Rockets, but now it looks like we got a man. Thompson started point guard, so I don't know if he's going to ask out. I would love KPJ as a starting, uh, not starting, but, you know, the sixth man. I would, I would be fine with that. I still feel like, you know, Jalen Green has the keys to this team. I still feel like he should be the number one option. Maybe at Ben Thompson, too. We're really going to have to figure out who's starting at small four. Because, you know, we got Amen Thompson, Jalen Green, Jabari at the four, Shingun at the five. But now, who's going to start at the three? Is it Tarison? Maybe Jay Sean Tate, Cam Whitmore? We're going to have to figure that out, too. Now, in terms of free agency and trades, Houston is, says they're going to be very aggressive in the free agency market. They're looking at Brooke Lopez, so I think it would be a great backup center. And just guys to help speed up this rebuild and bring in veteran presence. For the longest time, I wanted us to trade for Jalen Brown. You know, get an actual star. I feel like you can make it actually maybe like a play-in or close to playoff run, I guess. But yeah, I've seen some other trade ideas like OJ and Obi, which I would like. And Pascal Siakam. I personally wouldn't like Pascal Siakam because I think he's too ball dominant and I don't think he's that good in my opinion. But yeah, it does sound like we're going to land Brook Lopez as a good defensive center. You know, bring defense. Just bring, we just need anything at this point. We need anything to speed up this free build. I can't take another year of watching this team tank. We need to at least make the play in. We need to do something. Now, onto this team's ex expectations for next year. You know, I'm not expecting much. You know, I'm not expecting us to win the finals, but I'm expecting at least a push for the plane at least because Jalen Green should take another leave. You know, Jabari Smith should, Shen Goon should. We should be a decent team next year. We shouldn't be tanking We should for a good draft pick. We should be actually competing at this point. So yeah, I really hope Raphael Stone makes some kind of trade or something to, you know, help us maybe compete more. Uh, I really like the hiring of Ime Doka. He's a very good coach, very good person. You know, now we got him in Houston to coach all these young guys. But yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on this NBA draft. Um, if you guys want to see like a full draft recap and all my opinions on every single draft pick, comment below. Bring that to you guys. Let me know what you guys think of Cam Winmore and Amen Thompson. How good did the Rockets do? 
and I will see you guys in the next video.